So I want to build a geological map with the geological model. In front of us, we have this 3D model, and I want to turn it into a 2D map. The way that I'm going to do that in LeapFrog is I'm going to drag in the output volumes from this model, and I'm going to make sure that the smoothed mesh edges is turned on. So if I turn that off, we can see that it has triangles. If I turn it on, the triangles are smoothed away. And then I'm going to hit D on my keyboard, so I look down. And if I wanted to, I could create the map or render the map directly off the image that's in the scene as it is. But I want to get rid of some of that elevation information. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go into the neutral work settings. I'm going to go into the lighting option and turn off two lights and making sure I turn up the ambient level. So what I see in the scene is what's going to be on my rendered map. And then I'm going to click close and I'm just going to scroll up to the GIS folder. So the GIS data maps and photos and I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to do render map. This opens up the dialog where I can choose how I want to render the object. I can decide if I want uh, the number of megapixels for the exported image, the overlay settings. Uh, but in this case, we don't need to worry about those overlay settings because we'll set that up in the plan. So I'm just going to name it something. And I can click OK. So it will render the image in the scene and create us a 2D image of what was in the scene when I rendered it. And then I'm going to scroll down to my section plans and contours folder. And in this case, I've already created a plan view. I'm just going to come in and edit my existing layout that I built previously. I've already added a title block and I'm just going to add in that map we just created into this model. If I wanted to, I could also add in some contour lines. You can click OK. And we can see that that has added those contour lines onto the map. And I'm going to go through and just make a change to the line weighting and color so that it doesn't override the color of these contours. I'm just going to save it, and then we have a completed geological map ready for export or adding into your report.